up? It's Finn. Still inexplicably tired. Still hating my goddamn life. That's how things go around here for me. So, I figured I would do some updates first and then I'll do a video on a topic. It's um, a little difficult for me to articulate and I'm still trying to, to figure out a way to present it, but maybe I'll just wing it. So, first thing, I went ahead and took the boots back or you know, delivered the boots back to the UK. The seller thought it was going to be $30 to send it back. I assured them that they were fucking wrong and it ended up being $76, so more than double. The next thing, uh, I was at my parents' house a couple days last week. It's always a stressful endeavor for me going back to my parents. I do enjoy the structure of being at my parents' house because things are clean, things are predictable, there aren't bugs, people close doors, people knock when they enter rooms so that's the thing that i enjoy about being at my parents house but at every chance she gets my mom will always point out how fat i am knowing that i've had issues with eating disorders in the past she still does it which is hilarious so being at my parents house being surrounded by that constant pressure of perfectionism is uncomfortable and so that's the reason why I don't like being at my parents. I actually really enjoy the house itself um, and the way that it is run but its inhabitants are not palatable for me. Uh, I went to see my cousin who came down from Virginia uh, and we hung out and going back kind of uh, reinstilled my disdain for being a part of a family. It feels like, as far as my extended family goes, the things they have to offer are kind of dwarfed by what I have to offer. Um, they're either asking me for things or insulting me, which isn't all that far from my immediate family, but I tend to think that they are more valuable than my extended family. I don't know, they don't really have much to offer to me as far as I don't know, companionship. I don't give a shit about companionship. Um, it's not like they're just giving me money. Money is really what I, I value the most. Um, and I wouldn't ask for that because I don't want to be indebted to them in any way. But ugh, I just, having a family is weird. Or being in a family is weird. It's fucking weird. So next update. Uh, last week I went to the dermatologist and, you know, I, I always have ongoing issues with my HS. It, that's just, like, if you want an update, HS is like always on the docket because I, I'm always either having a flare up or some weird shit is going on with it. And so I went to go to the dermatologist to get a idea of my treatment plan as far as my HS goes and she was saying that, um, there's been too much damage done as far as scar tissue and stuff to really reverse any of the, the symptoms that I have. Um, so I would probably need to get the surgery in order to, um, I don't know, revert me back to factory settings or as close as I could possibly get to factory settings. Um, but at the moment, my HS is not that bad. Uh, and it's probably as good as it's going to get as far as the appearance goes and the uh, scar tissue goes and so she gave me some injections because I was in part in the middle of a flare-up um, and the injections are steroid injections and so they calm down the inflammation which is always very nice. She also prescribed me some steroid cream and an antibacterial gel so, I'm thinking, 
you know, when I get insurance that I'll go ahead and get the surgery, get, just get all this shit scooped out and get a graft or whatever they need to do and, um, you know, move on with my fucking life. I ideally would like to be cured and then get a tattoo like over like the side of my body up my to my armpit and my arm I think that would be um a good way to cover up all the scarring I have a good deal of scarring already and getting the surgery done would be a good deal more so yeah I also asked her about my face because let me show you my face has not been good it's been fucking bad it's been really messed up and she was saying that there were hives. I don't necessarily think they're hives because hives don't typically drain like pimples and boils do. Um, or at least when I get hives, they're just like raised welts of skin that are like blobulous shaped. Like when you get a mosquito bite, that raised skin around the bite is what hives look like on me. So I don't necessarily believe they're hives, but I do believe or at least I, I agree with her assessment that it is an allergic response um, like hives would be because they um, or my breakouts they they start right after I've eaten in the afternoon and then they get better overnight and so you know allergic responses have that 24-hour time period that they they affect you um, if it was a disease of any sort it wouldn't it wouldn't be this good. <laughs> um, it wouldn't uh, be as behaved as this is. And so it's definitely something to do with a stress response or an allergy response where there's histamines flowing through my body and causing this rash to come up. And so uh, I've done a whole lot of shit to minimize my exposure to any allergen that could possibly be affecting my face. I'm not really allergic to anything. I've never been allergic to anything. So I'm thinking that it is stress rather than an allergic response to something. Or I guess I could be allergic to stress. It seems that the only thing that really makes the, the breakout not necessarily stop, but it doesn't get any worse um, during the time that it usually does is restricting all day so if I don't eat anything the entire day then my face doesn't break out and it tries to heal which is illuminating but yeah the dermatologist gave me steroid cream the gel and so hopefully I'll I don't know get a handhold on this HS and maybe make my face a little better. She said I could use the steroid cream on my face sparingly, so I went ahead and started doing that, and it hasn't really affected it all that much. Uh, she also told me to take some Zyrtec, and well above the, the listed dose on the instructions, uh, four, I think she said, four Zyrtec, um, two in the morning and two in the afternoon. And so, my fiance had looked it up because he was worried that that was, you know, way too much, but that's a thing that doctors do commonly. Um, instead of prescribing a prescription um, allergy medication, they'll just tell you to take um, more than the recommended dose for um, over-the-counter allergy medication. So, take that information as you will. It's probably helpful for some people out there that are experiencing some pretty intense allergic responses to different things and don't have insurance there you go uh, next my hair so as you can see I have a fair amount of new growth and my mom has been on me to um, keep my hair out of my face because she seems to think that the um, presence of my hair around my face is what's causing my rash every day and I was like, uh, well, I've been having my hair in my face since I was, what, six years old? I've, I mean, I've been getting braids done with synthetic hair, with my hair. I've been getting that done since I was a little, 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 little kid. Uh, 
and so I don't think that's what's causing the issue but you know for her peace of mind I'll go ahead and do it I'll um, take my hair loose and then just braid my regular hair because I'm thinking my hair my like my own hair isn't gonna cause me to break out hopefully I mean it hasn't in the past so but whatever I I'm just trying to get my mom off my fucking back you know <sighs> next thing the job stuff so I applied for the disaster relief again the um, job listing came up on USA jobs so went ahead and did that um, I'm thinking because I've done it before I'll have not necessarily preferential treatment but you know people feel more comfortable hiring someone that they've worked with before and so that I feel pretty optimistic about it as far as other jobs go shit is fucking bleak it's just so 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 bleak um, I've applied for countless jobs I can't even tell you how many jobs I've applied for and not so much as even an email saying you know you didn't get the job it's um really disheartening and for me especially it's disheartening because I mean I complain about living here all the time I just I fucking hate it here uh, it's, it's not even a thing that's hard to explain it's it's very evident and it's very apparent why I would hate living here um, I just don't like getting into it because it just pisses me off but I also despise living with my parents because they're they just pick at you they just fucking pick at you and it's uh, I can't stand it and so I just want to live by myself I don't want to be around fucking anybody and I mean I know I complain about living at both places I, I do all the time and it's like why the fuck don't you just move out why don't you just move out that seems like the, the the proper response to living in two places that you fucking hate well I'm a person who is um, at the moment a leech I am not completely independent and so having an income would alleviate that issue for me but I don't have a steady income um, at the moment I am getting unemployment and I have one prospect for a job with the disaster relief and even that isn't steady um, I could be laid off at any time for that and there are permanent um, positions available for that job doing the same thing I'd be doing um, but that's a six month um, commitment and at the moment for me like I, I didn't really mind the six month commitment before but now I'm cozying up to a real 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 nice like because I'm starting to not give a fuck what my fiance thinks um, I'm starting to get into self-preservation mode because I'm getting sicker and sicker as the days go by living here um, not only from stress but also from just occupational hazards um, there's a lot of smoke here um, very poor ventilation uh, I have a cough like I'll just cough for no reason which has never been an issue I've ever 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 had uh, there's fucking rats here there's fucking roaches there's ants the ants just bother me to no avail because they're just everywhere all the time roaches they come out at night um, people don't close the windows and doors here so there's just creatures inside the house sometimes uh, Carlos I just cannot stand their dog like I would who I don't even want to get into it I just can't stand him I really fucking hate him and I, I just like him not only because he is the disgusting dog that he's just aggressive and just gets on the couch with food and he's he's aggressive he's just very fucking aggressive he's got rule of the roost he is like the alpha here he he, he can do whatever the fuck he wants and that really annoys me and he kind of encapsulates everything that I hate about living here and so I hate him more than I would um, just because he is 
like the epitome of like disorder in this house. I just cannot stand it. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about because I got on this this rant about living at this fucking house. Uh, yeah, I'm in self-preservation mode. I'm ready to do whatever I need to do just to get out and live by myself. Um, and not care whether or not my fiance joins me. But yeah, things are um not great and they've never really been great, so uh who fucking cares? <laughs>